Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings. Today, we're going to ask the question, why are they acting like this? Because, you know, it would be great if people made sense. So we've got pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. And uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been booking readings with me and subscribing and commenting. If you do want to book a reading with me, make sure that you use the email in my description. It's right below the timestamps. Uh, there is just somebody who's pretending to be me in the comments and I don't want any of you to give that person money or information <laughs> because uh, it's important to keep you guys safe. So uh, I will not give you an email. Uh, I, uh, the, that email is the way to contact me with me. I'm not going to give you a WhatsApp ever. So let's move on to pile number one, my gorgeous and beautiful people. So pile number one, you have the hematite. Hematite's a very grounding stone, so maybe they need some grounding. So pile number one. Why are they acting like this? This is the right deck. That's the right deck. Okay. Uh, why are they acting like this? Sun. They may have had some sort of realization, some, but it, it would have been something, you know, big. Like there, there is some kind of realization that they're temperance. Why are they acting like this? Star? <laughs> Dropping things as I do. So there's a lot of actually really big things happening in this person's life right now. Because major arcanas, four major arcanas out of four cards, the sun, temperance, the star, and the devil. They may be healing a very significant negative pattern in their life. Because it's like, um, this is a healing card. This is a healing card. This is coming into the light. There's, uh, you know, this is like, Maybe this person is not always, because there's like attachment, there's fear, but things are actually trending towards healing and clarity for this person. So, and evening out, evening out of emotions, water going from one, alchemy, there, there's, I will tell you one thing, whatever's going on with your person, you know, it's significant, but it's actually trending towards healing and happiness and health. Um, with the eight of cups, they're walking away from something that's toxic. Why are they acting like this? So whatever it is, like, I don't know what the situation is that has been toxic for them that they have, you know, not wanted to let go of, but they're, it looks like they're willing to let go and walk away from whatever that is. Um, but I know that a lot of you, it's like, what this person, you know, with the devil here, this person's behavior wasn't always good. Uh, but there's, there's so much trending towards better here. Ace, uh, with the pay, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, cause I can speak with the Knight of Pentacles. They're moving forward, but they're 
cautiously moving forward um, because they only want to move forward towards health and balance and harmony and happiness. With the four of wands, I feel like this person really wants a long-term, steady, stable relationship with somebody that they're balanced with. That being said, it has been a long time coming for that to happen. So this person might be moving forward slowly, but they are offering the right kind of offer. Like the offers, this person is not going to be inconsistent, but this person, yeah, this person's, there's a lot of significant changes that this person has had to deal with. Five of Wands. I feel like this person is walking away from situations that are really highly contentious. Um, that, you know, they might only hold on because of fear or addiction. Addiction's a possibility, but like this is. But overall, I think that things are trending like there's a lot of healing and realizations in this connection. Well, it, it going on with them. Um, with the King of Cups, this person does have, you know, really deep feelings. And they're also going through a lot of spiritual healing and growth. There is like something that has been really disappointing. Um, but I feel like they don't want to, I, I feel like they're not as focused on everything that went wrong anymore. I feel like for a long time they were focused on just the things that went wrong. So they were not paying attention to the things of that, you know, that they should have focused on. With the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, this person might communicate with you to try to create stability again. Because this is what this person, like this person is going through, uh, like this person's had a serious revelation. This person has feelings. This person now, uh, whether they did in the past or not, does want somebody that they can um, happy happiness with another person, um, you know, relationship, something stable, something steady, something long term. Um, but I feel like it was a long time to get to this balance. I feel like this person really needed to balance themselves out. But, but there are, there has been like, this is like the, the overall forces, like they've had forces that have forced them to, you know, face clarity and like bring them up to a higher vibration. They've had, um, they've had to find some kind of temperance you know not these big up and downs roller coasters you know like they but like healing and wish fulfillment is on the on the table four of wands is on the table twice so this person went through an entire journey to get ready so that they could offer, you know, balance in a relationship so that they could get and receive the happiness that was what they were supposed to get. 
It's okay to ball out sometimes. Spend that money, boo. I feel like this person, they're, they're feeling, because of this sun energy, they're feeling expansive. Like, they feel like what used to be as important to them is not that important anymore. And I feel like they want to put their money where it'll bring them some joy. Don't let the stress win. So I feel it's like ball out sometimes, like there's, you know, temperance. So like this person isn't just going overboard, but I feel like this person does want to, you know, enjoy their, you know, enjoy the money that they have. They also want to, you know, they don't want to stay stressed they they want but whatever it is like this this person it, it's clear that everything wasn't always good with this person but this person is actually on a really good this this person is really moving into a really good place believe i feel like this person you know like they're Again, not just facing what hasn't worked, but really what can. Like they really want to add stability in situations. With the four of wands twice, they could definitely see they they definitely see somebody in their life as a profound and meaningful connection. That uh, that at this point they do want to have that come into fruition. Because there, there have been deep feelings this whole time, but sometimes these feelings might have been too deep. Some of these feelings, you know, quite possibly could not, might not have been expressed. But this person, I feel like this person doesn't value the same things that they used to put all their value on. With the uh, with the devil, like they were really putting uh, for a long time, they were putting. You know, a lot of their value on, you know, things that were maybe just pleasure. Um, world charm. So this person is really ending old negative cycles right now. Um, and they're doing this because they're starting to believe the, all the, all this information from the universe they're like they're they're not giving a place where they can ignore this anymore suddenly my throat just started getting very it's very hard for me to talk very scratchy so that might be a, a, a lack of communication that's been happening so even though there's been a lack of communication um, even though you may not be aware of all these changes, and now I want to cough so badly, <laughs> this, uh, there, you know, this person has, you know, definitely what, what, even if you haven't been talking to this person, um, the universe has been talking to this person, been speaking to this person, and there has been growth and development. So I've got the butterfly, which does represent transition and change. And I do feel like there, you know, going from the devil to the sun and the star and the temperance, like that's a big change. In fact, the, you know, the devil and temperance are almost opposite energies because the, the temperance is about you know, having this even keel, you know, emotional, you know, not just emotional control, but, you know, just having that. It's almost like a, an ability to find internal contentment and. So, like, there has been some really significant transition for this person. This person has been healing. 
good fortune, good fortune. So I have two of these links and they both came out. I'm almost getting like both of you are going to receive some kind of good fortune. Um, so with believe the believe card, I, I feel like if this person was in the dark or coming from a dark place, like this person has transitioned belief, like they, they're, you know, have definitely moved much more into the light with their energy and they definitely want a more significant connection. Um, and they're, and they're walking away from the things in their life that have been emotionally unfulfilling. Uh, passion. There is definitely, this person definitely feels a lot of passion. Um, and there's the little kitten. Um, okay, this is, this is only for a few of you, like... Some of you, like, they picture you like a little kitten, like this this cute, adorable. Um, others of you, I feel like it's just... I think that to some of them, you represent a certain amount of innocence and adorableness and... But they're... they're they're very close. If they haven't, uh, you know, taken, uh, like, they're very close. Like, they're walking away from things that are unhealthy, and they want to grasp, you know, their destiny of prosperity. Um, and that involves a connection. There is... I feel like they definitely needed to deal with core issues. Like there was some core issue, something that really was not healthy and not ambiguous. Um, so I've got this, the, the kind of flat mouthed emoji as well as the genuine smiling face. A little black heart and O, that might be a letter for some of you. With the uh, peacock, the peacock can be about arrogance, but I feel like if this person was arrogant, this person is walking away from that because, you know, it's because they've gotten a big revelation. Um, it could also be about beauty or elegance. Um, so that might be significant in some way. But I feel like there's a... Oops, my hands are shaking too much. Um, they do that. So I feel like there is... Definitely somebody who doesn't know how to feel like they're they're pretty dissatisfied. Uh, and then there's somebody that's finding a lot more joy. So <laughs> as I throw things all over the place. Okay. Well, I just appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much. If you do want to contact me for a reading, I, my information is in the description. It's, a, it's the email right below the, uh, excuse me, I can talk. So that email uh, is right below the timestamps in the description. There is somebody that is posing as me. Um, so if, if somebody in the comments tries to book a reading with you or gives you a WhatsApp, that is not me. Uh, but I will be happy to take care of any of you, but uh, make sure that you email me, make sure that you don't, you know, use any other contact because this is happening to a lot of readers and I want to make sure that nobody gets taken advantage of. We're going to move on to pile number two.
pile number two, my gorgeous and talented people. Look at this beautiful green stone. Green represents the heart space. I think that I will have to double check, but I think that this might be a raw emerald. They got mixed up, so I'll I'll do do some typing later. So uh, why are they acting like this? Pile two, why are they acting like this? Wheel of fortune, like there's something significant and fateful. Ace of Pentacles. Why are they acting like this? Knight of Wands. Two of Cups. There are some, like... We do have free will, but sometimes certain things are meant to be part of our path. And there is something about this that's meant to be part of that path. Also, sometimes just because something is meant to be part of your, the, your path does not mean that it's forever. But it may be an event that was supposed to happen. So I've got the Two of Cups, the... Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like I need to clarify. So clarity on the Knight of Wands, Four of Cups. I feel like there was somebody who acted in a very impetuous way. And that created, it created a kind of a scenario where they couldn't be accepted. Like, uh, you know, like, because there was emotions involved And somebody might have tried to engage only in the physical way. Um, and I feel like that person who tried to engage only physically, they were aware that the, that the, you know, that Ace of Cups, that love was being offered. Um, but there was something about them that was so dissatisfied with other things or maybe past situations. They were so stuck into, you know, why they are unsatisfied with life that instead of taking the cup of love, they tried to engage. Um, they, they tried to just have, they 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 wanted what they wanted out of it and they didn't give they uh, they didn't give what they needed to give to make that happen because if they were willing to you know take and re reciprocate your offer you know but there was something in them that was you know so like they were just so caught up in something that they didn't like and it might have I think no it, it didn't have anything to do with you but them you know okay this is a very kind of old-timey uh phrase but it's like they, uh, a sourpuss attitude I don't know that's what I uh, that's what they said so that's what I have to repeat uh you know like so they were so, you know, determined not to, like, they didn't want to take an offer of love. Uh, and they didn't want to give an offer of love, even if love was there. And there, 
you know, but there has was definitely some kind of connection. Either you were meant to learn something from this person, because there could be some kind of karmic cycle involved here. Um, or this person was meant to be on your life path. Um, and they were offered something that they were offered something that they should have taken. So clarity on this Ace of Pentacles, because Ace of Pentacles is like an offer of stability, but I'm not feeling like that's happened. I, I, I don't feel like a, a, it's like there's a new beginning in stability, but I don't feel like that's happened. That like, that might be a future part of the story, but that's not the current story, at least for most of you. Um, but give me some clarity on this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. It's quite possible, like, when they should have offered you commitment, they, 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 you know, they offered you passion, but they were not consistent. And this person still maintains a lot of passion regarding you. Um, but they, yeah, they, they're, they're kind of having to learn that they can't, like, even if you're somebody that is a significant person on their path, their choices affect things. Clarity on the Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So the emotional investment is currently unfulfilled between the two of you. Like there was definitely, yeah, this, this, these, this unwillingness to look past what they didn't like so that they could concentrate on a better offer. And I feel like you represented a better offer. Uh, and also them just engaging only in passion, like only wanting to engage in passion uh, means that the prosperity that you guys were building together, it kind of died. It either died or just became so dormant. So anything, and why are they acting like this? Queen of Wands. I, I also heard like catnip, like you, you, you're like catnip to them. Like you, they, they still feel this connection. They, you know, you like, it's like moth to flame regarding you. But while they can offer you a passionate new beginning, they, it's only going to work if they offer that in conjunction with like a real commitment and offer because there are real feelings involved. But this person's kind of deep in their emotional tomfoolery. Like this person is, I feel like this person thinks that they can have part of you and not like this person hasn't learned yet this person hasn't learned yet this person hasn't learned that if you re uh, you know if you reject like the ace of cups the you know a divine gift then you know especially regarding somebody that you have a significant, you know, karmic connection with. This person hasn't figured out that they need to do better. Like they, 
they're so, they're still, like, they, they're, they're in some level of denial. I don't even think that they, I don't even think that they're fully in denial about the, their feelings. I feel like they're in denial that they need to do better. Like they, you know, like, I feel like that, you know, that you're the super attractive person to them, like super attractive, but they're also like not really completely on your level right now. Um, and they would have to get over some of their issues to be on your level. It's like, It's, it's like you're out of their league and they're not taking the offer or making the offer, which is ridiculous. Um, with the nine of swords, this is very much due to deep-seated anxieties on their part. Like they're, you know, they don't really have themselves together in their mental space. Like in their mental space... Like, it's fight or flight, fear, like, anxiety. Um, what am I, you know, like, this person has a pretty pessimistic attitude. Um, and while they are passionate, like, they, they need to come into the light. And, like, you know, they're, they're they keep getting offered something that will, you know, make things better. Like they, 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 but they need to, there's, there's something about them and like, they don't, and it could be because they're, you know, so overwhelmed with their own personal fears. So they're not, this person is definitely not in touch with their higher self. They're very much, you know, they're trying to feed their drives. Um, and they're really strongly trying to maintain this pessimistic attitude. So they're, they're being offered clarity. But they actually have to take action on that. They actually have to level up a little bit. Because... You're their type. You're, they feel the connection. There is emotions here. Um, but they, it's like, if, if they don't offer you stability, they can't have, they can't have their cake and eat it too with you. And, you know, they, and they shouldn't because it, you know, if you, it's like, if this person, you know, doesn't have to like start being a slightly better version of themselves and uh, then they're then there's not going to be this love. Like this person could have put you in a situation ship. This person, you know, something. But this person is just uh, like, they're not, they're not even rational right now. They're not rational. They're not, you know, they're, you know, not making good choices. And all of it has to do with, all of that has to do with there being this. It's, it's like they're so committed to anything that hasn't gone right in the past. Nine of Pentacles. They're not the Nine of Pentacles. But I feel like they know that you are somebody that has everything like you are the person that is a smart person to invest in 
Like you're, you know, like you're the person that they can't, like they're, you know, really passionately interested in, but it's like, it's the only thing that they're willing to deal with, you know, like, but they, they know that you are somebody that's worthy of a lot. They, they can see that you have some self-worth, like, again, like your, if they don't offer you the ace of pentacles with your knight of pentacles, you're not going to go for it. Um, Queen of Cups. And that's the thing. Gosh. Fools. Sorry. I didn't mean to, but with the Queen of Cups, like this person, you know, this person knows that what you'd offer, like this person knows that, you know, even though they see you in this highly passionate physical way, this person knows that the love you offer is real. Like they, they know that they know that you are somebody that's caring, kind, loving, but they're, you know, they're not taking that offer. So if you, if you are having something physical with this person, um, just know that that's only going, that's, that's not going to transition the relationship with them. They, uh, they will, as long as their needs are being met, regardless of whether your needs are being met, they're just going to keep on doing that. Um, because this person has every intention of holding you at arm's length. Like they know that, you know, you're loving. They, they, at least on some, uh, they know that, you know, the love you offer is good. They are not taking that offer. Um, and they're blocking you. Any, any, any way but physical, they're going to block you. So, like, if it's emotional, they're going to block you. If, it, you know, if it's practical, they're going to block you. Like, this is somebody that, you know, while they're up in all their bull, um, they're, you know, they're going to, yeah, yeah, the plan is just to, like, not let you in. Ace of Wands, the second type. So Ace of Wands has come out the second time. Uh, so, yeah, this person really, really, really is very, very physically attracted to you. Um, uh, also, if, if you are engaging um, with this person in a physical way, I would be... Um, I would be careful if you don't want to be pregnant uh, with the Ace of Wands coming out twice, the Knight, uh, the Knight of Wands. Also, this person is not currently, you know, like this person, as things are, is not going to engage with you in a responsible way. So unless, you know, so that, that depends on your gender, obviously, not everybody who's watching can get pregnant and, you know, gender, age, but that being said, like, why are they acting this way? Will? Crazy? They're not making rational decisions. They're, 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 they're something that's ca uh, that's causing them to do this. That's like, it's not in their best interest. Like they're, they are not making decisions in their best interest and they're definitely not making interests. Uh, they're definitely ma not making choices in your best interest. Will I feel like this person is 
It's like this person is determined, like this person is determined to, you know, not take the offer or not make the offer, especially with it coming out twice. And this person, like they, you know, they're also a little bit determined in the physical way. Like they want to be with you in that way, but solely in that way. It's like they want, they, yeah, they want to have part of you, but not the whole you. And this dynamic has truly harmed the connection. It has, it has kind of deformed to what this connection could have been. In case of serious accident, please call a priest. It's like there's, you know, there, even though this person was significant to your life, maybe they were there to treat you a lesson. Maybe they have to learn a lesson, but you guys have been in your each other's life for a reason. Again, that does not necessarily mean that you will always be in each other's life. Uh, especially since there has been an issue so significant that it could definitely put an end to this connection. And, and that I feel like very much is their insistence on, you know, keeping you out, insistence on just wanting the physical, their insistence on, you know, being so caught up in their own past baggage that they won't take something that's so obviously good for them. Hug. I feel like there might be like this want for physical affection, maybe even just outside of the, uh, the sexual. Um, but it's like there's there is a significant connection here still. Um, but this person would have to choose to work with the connection. Like they, it's like nothing's going to work out unless they decide to cooperate with the connection. Um, which means that for most of you, if you guys are still in contact, and I do feel like you guys are still in contact, but I feel like you... I feel like whether or not you're in contact, you guys still feel a little bit of the connection. And, uh, and I feel like it's almost like they need to feel what it's like, you know, like you shouldn't be doing a hundred percent of the work for this person. Um, because at this point in this person's maturity, they'll let you do that because that means that they don't have to grow up and, um, do right by you. So I feel like if, if you're doing a lot to make this connection work, I feel like you may need to do less, but I understand because this is, is like even though this connection is significantly damaged right now there this is a significant connection um so it is hard to let go of um with dream i feel like this person dreams about you with this person's arrogant and the reason why this person is arrogant is they they think they're the king and they are not at that level. And you may, you know, you may treat them like the king or the queen. Um, but that's not who they currently are. Even if maybe that's who they could be at some point, but it's like, you can't do any of their personal development. But they think that they've got this handled. They think that 
uh, they think they're the shiz. They think uh, they're the ish. You know, like they think uh, they're the best. This person is arrogant because like this person, oh, it's, it's like this person's view of themselves versus reality that it doesn't match up and this person well this person significantly this person significantly overvalues yourself of uh, their selves and undervalues you which is not right but it's it's what's coming out it's like you really are that person you you have mastery in more than one area. They don't have any mastery at all, but it's like they don't have any mastery at all, but they kind of want dominance. But like this isn't this isn't the kind of person like gosh, it's like they they're not nearly as competent. Well, definitely not as you, but like not even close to as competent as as they could be. Uh, and I feel like their arrogance is keeping them from growing. Um, moving forward with the the Volkswagen Bug Star, like there is a chance for. Like I feel like there is some need to move forward, but. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that you can make this person move forward. I feel like the only thing that you uh, you can do is like, yeah, don't just don't do everything for this person because this person is immature. This person is inconsistent, uh, and it has to do with their own anxieties and and they're taking it out on you. They're taking it out on you. They're not, you know, giving or taking the offers that they should. So even because, you know, like this person is just. Like there's there is a little certain shallowness going on with them. So the star, the star can be about health, healing. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, don't concentrate so much on this person. Like if they're, if even though they are a significant connection and even though I know that that will make it hard to let go, like, you know, this person's getting themselves together is kind of going to be a lesson they have to learn by themselves. Because if anything, this person may have had too many people taking care of things for them. There's something that has, you know, harmed this person's growth. So with the star, I feel like make sure that you're happy. Like make sure that you're going after your dreams. Because um, if this person's supposed to be your person, like they'll eventually get their stuff together. but um, the longer you enable it, the, the longer they won't. Um, sadness. I, I think that you guys probably feel a significant amount of sadness regarding this person and their actions. But again, this person has to be the person who, like, you can't grow for this person. And this person is not nearly at your level of growth. Mirrored souls. Some of you may feel like this is a twin flame connection. Definitely, this is a significant spiritual connection. But this person, like, they may have this connection with you in, like, the 5D. They might have this connection with you in a psychic kind of way. I, I just started hearing TLC's I Don't Want No Scrubs. Um, so like this person in this earthly plane, 
like there there may be a connection between you and not all of you are twins but some of you like you have this significant connection like you feel connected in the heart you feel connected psychically and you know with the like yeah but this person It's like this person needs to deal with things enough in this plane of existence before they're, you know, going to be up to dealing with any of that. Like this person, like the spirit, uh, you know, the, you know, the spirit may be calling, but this person isn't answering the door. So I feel like a lot of, like, if this is a super significant connection, I feel like, you know, for most of you, the best thing to do is going to be move on. Uh, not necessarily forever, because this person might choose to get their life together. And if it's a significant connection, you know, you, you know, walking away for somebody, even if it's them that's acting in such a, a way that's beneath you both, will ultimately fix uh, will ultimately help the connection because you can't fix this person but you can fix you and until this person acts in a way that would be healthy because this person is not interacting in a healthy way with you um then but it's like what you can do is concentrate on your health your happiness your stability, you, you know, like, I feel like there is, there's a need to focus on what you can put together. There's power in kindness. I feel like because you do represent this really kind, loving person, like you, I feel like you, you may not understand how significant that is until like, like, I feel like you're, you're not going to understand, like, the, the power of your kindness right away. Um, and I feel like this person, because they are just doing everything they can to put up as many walls between you because of their own internal anxiety and their, you know, pessimism and dissatisfaction with life, that they're, you know, like, they're not in their spiritual self at all. Think carefully. Your thoughts hold power. That's happening with both of you. Like, this person is so concentrated. Like, so, like, they can't just, like, even look at away from it for a second about what they're dissatisfied about. Um, and that's causing things to happen in their life. This is, you know, this is the fruits of their labor. This is the fruits of their thoughts. So I feel like it's best, just as advice, it's best to concentrate on your own independence and your own, um, you know, being a kind, loving person. And accept that, like, what's going on with your person is what's going on with your person. Um Again, it's a significant connection, but not 100% of these connections are going to last. So, but it also, but it does mean that it's hard to leave behind. Um, and it does mean that, you know, at this, uh, at some point, this person might come into some level of spiritual awakening. Um... But not if they just get a, a get away with every not great thing that they're doing. And it's just like this, this person is so, it's like they're not, they're not, they don't have malice towards you. Um, but they also don't like, they, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because of the choices that they're making. Like, because the, the choices that they're making can't help but be harmful. Um, 
So I feel like there's a need to, this person needs to take responsibility for themselves. So again, like, I feel like this person maybe has not had to take responsibility for themselves. Uh, maybe they've just been enabled in it before, you know, like, but there's something that I don't care if they're older than you. There's something in them that really hasn't fully matured. So it's a, it's important to take responsibility for what you do, who you are and release responsibility for what this person is doing. Because again, this person's not doing anything that's logical. This person is, you know, in their anxiety and just. Um, and as long as this person doesn't grow up, doesn't get their stuff together, there's going to be heartbreak between the two of you. Um, because there is this significant connection, like, uh, you know. Whether this person has realized that their heart's going to get broken too yet, I, which is not the case. This person, like there may be emotions involved, but they think that you're, they're keeping you out. I really feel like there's a significant, like, yeah, this person really may only realize what they had once you're, once you're gone, um, which is unfortunate. But this person, like, glow in the dark, like, this person's in the dark. This person's in their anxiety. Um, this person, this person is getting hands up from the universe, like, you know, let me help you up. And they're just saying no. So this person has to be able to event has to be able to see what they cannot currently see with the there's a need for a connection to be healthy and strong and durable and i feel like if this person can get themselves together i was just looking at the three, two, one on the clock. So it's like a progression. This person could regress a little bit sometimes. Like they don't want to deal with their stuff maybe. And, you know, they, you know, so they act more like a teenager or something. But with the, um, It's like, even though there's a significant connection, there there does need to be, like, in this connection, there needs to be something steady, stable, you know, reliable. There needs to be something durable. And, like, something in this connection is a little bit bent out of shape. With the cowboy hat confidence... And I'm not trying to talk, you know, badly about your person. Obviously, this is somebody you probably care a lot about. But it's like this person is arrogant. It's like this person, it's like they're, I'd say they're confident, but there's like nothing to back it up. I'm not saying that in in the future there might not be some kind of more substance, but what there are offering right now what they're doing right now has no substance but they're super sure like they're oh it's 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 like the the energy is really like somebody who's just like walking on train tracks with the train coming and they're like nah it won't hurt So I'm, I, I, I can understand why this would be very difficult to deal with um, because, you know, there, you know, no, no matter how little this person's developed, like you guys do have a significant connection. You might have had a past life together. Um, and it's could be like, this could be somebody who's more of a karmic partner to the, ooh, this could be somebody that, 
you know, is a soulmate, is a twin, but it's not, they're not, I feel like most of you, this isn't a twin. Like it's possible for some of you, but some of you, this could be a soulmate. Um, but the problem is the disparity in, in you guys' development and, and, and the fact that this person kind of thinks that they're bulletproof um, and they just have decided they're going to, you know, walk in front of, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I could see how this would be very difficult to deal with. Um, and I feel like the best advice would be to, you know, release them until they decide to get their stuff together. Um, because it's like this person hasn't had to be responsible. So I hope this helps you. I'm sorry. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed and you comment uh, and you're in the running for that. If you do want to contact me to maybe book a reading, just make sure uh, the email is in the description below the timestamps. So just make sure that you contact me there because there is somebody in the chat trying to be me and uh, I don't want anybody to give them their information or phone number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, information, money, you know. So uh, also thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings. So we're going to move on to pile three. Pile number three, my gorgeous and talented people. Why are they acting like this? Why are they acting like this? Seven of swords, avoidant, sketchy. Eight of Pentacles. Feel like this, this person is running away from like necessary work. It's like there's there it's these are very interesting in juxtaposition because this is like the thief card, the leaving in the middle of the night card, and this is the person who, you know, is, you know. Not at mastery yet, but building mastery. And I feel like this, like they're the apprentice card. There's a person who's putting in the hard work for the end product. And I feel like this person is avoiding the necessary work and growth that they have to do. They're avoiding like the real practical steps they need to take. And this is just causing chaos. Eight of wands. It's like there's, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of action. Um, but the focus isn't good. Like the focus it's like there there's a complete lack of focus. Like, you know, everybody's like they're gonna hit each other or the waspness. You know, there's a chance for awareness so you don't play that game, but it's just this person I'm not saying that they, you know, like they're they're not so dissociated as far as I can tell, but they're like this person is moving in five different directions at once. Like this person doesn't even agree with themselves. And even though this person has all this energy and like they are not focusing it in a good way, they're, they're not doing the necessary. They're not like, dealing with the necessary day-to-day -day grind of things. You know, the things that make... This person's very unstable. High priestess. Deep down, they, they actually know they need to do better. Hierophant. 
with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, like this could be also a, um, this could be a pairing, like a spiritual pairing. Um, but it could be that one of you is a lot more, you know, set and prescribed in how you do things. And the other one is a lot more intuitive. There could be somebody in this uh, situation that's more spiritual. And there could be somebody that's more conventionally religious. And it's like there's still that entirely spiritual element, but why are they acting like this? But also, um, if maybe they have a different religion, you know, they, you know, that might be one of the reasons why they're, you know, making such illogical choices and they're making illogical choices because like there's some kind of self-governance issue like this person like can't get one part of themselves to um, agree with another part of themselves and they're just acting blindly and because of that this person is being offered something that's amazing. Um, but they're so, so tied up with, you know, things they have been dissatisfied with. It's like they're not even, like, they're not even enthusiastic about the other offers, but they won't take the one that works. Six of Wands. With the Five of Wands and then the Six of Wands, I feel like in order for, you know, there to be success and in order for this to move forward, this person needs to deal with themselves a little bit so that they can, like, it's like they can't win the battle if 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 they can't even win the war inside. So like it, it, for there to be success between you and they do want there to be success even though they're not in even though they're avoiding the necessary actions that they need to take that are quite frankly kind of no-brainer actions. But it's like there, it would be, it would need to be consistent. So with the six of, six of wands, I feel like there's something else in there. Six of cups. Again, they, they can feel this spiritual connection between the two of you with the six of cups. Like that's. You know, it's a soulmate card. It's like innocent love. It's this person, like, you know, definitely because this is such like spiritual death. Like you guys, you know, if, you, if you're, if you're not, if you're not somebody that's coming back from the past or like, a, you know, a, you know, a childhood friend or, you know, somebody with, you got a lot of back uh, story with you you do have a lot of backstory with them. It's just maybe not in this incarnation. <laughs> um, but like they, yeah, but there's something and it could be regarding like some kind of belief. It could be a religious belief for some of you. It's not a religious belief. Some of you, it's just, Something that they were told, something that they were told that they hold to be truth. But 
it's like there's some kind of unexamined truth that they take as like the, you know, I, I feel like it's not for most of you, it's not even religious, but it's like they 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 believe that truth like it is, you know, like it has come from that. But it it didn't. It ki came from some kind of human, you know, like some uh, somebody told them something along the way and that became their truth in reality. And they they are kind of committed to that truth in reality. Even though that's leading them to not take what's meant for them. Why are they acting like this? Six. So the five of cups and the four, five, six. There could, this person does have some capacity to change and grow, um, but they need to stop avoiding the stuff that they, they need to, they need to stop avoiding doing the basic things that they need to do. Like, and they're like basic things that you just need to do. But I don't, this person is still concentrated on what they don't like, what has fallen down, but it's like things have fallen down because they didn't make necessary, they didn't make the right choice because they were so concentrated on what they didn't like and what they didn't like then fell apart. And they need to start focusing you know, on this Ace of Cups, on this Two of Cups. And if they do that, then there's going to be some kind of reunion with you. <clears throat> but this person needs to... With the three, because like the Three of Wands is like you've made a choice and you've taken the first step. Um, but there is going to be a, you know, there may be a pause before things will fully manifest for you. But I feel like there's more to this card. Because I don't think that this person is fully taken steps towards you so like what are what are the what are they waiting for because they're waiting for something to pay off ten of pentacles i feel like they're waiting for their big um wealth they're waiting for their wealth to come in and that could be why they're not taking action on you but it it's only going to lead to a disappointment. Why are they acting like this? But yeah, like they want because they're greedy. Because like they are so afraid that that if they share anything, then they're somehow going to be without. Like, they have, like, this really lack. Like, this person, like, sharing the piece of the pie to them means that they have less pie. So there definitely is... There definitely is a capacity for this person to make a leap of faith, put down all this baggage. Um, but in the meantime, this person is kind of acting like a fool. Because their anxiety is creating a, a lack mentality there that is making them, you know, really 
only look out for themselves. Like only like they want to hold on to everything. They feel vulnerable. So they just want to hold on to everything. And it's going to lead to emotional pain and loss. Unless they decide, you know, unless they can like find, you know, the, uh, you know, in, until they can stop being so at odds with themselves because them being at odds with themselves is creating, you know, this, you know, so this person's, you know, closing off their heart and they're so focused on prosperity um, and I feel like this is actually leading to a lot of disappointment on their part because they might be waiting for the wrong ship to come in. And if they, you know, could get out of their head and, you know, release you know, all this anxiety, all these things, you know, it, you know, then they could make a new, a fresh start. I say as new chapter comes out, this person, you know, this person's putting a lot of energy and effort towards something, but it may not pay off may not pay off because they're not putting the energy and effort in the right place. Don't let social media confuse you. You're just where you need to be. So I feel like maybe they're, you know, maybe they look at what other people have achieved and they feel like they need to be exactly like that other person. Maybe they're engaging with somebody else's dream because they were told that that's what they were supposed to do. Like they, they, they were told that, you know, when you grow up, you will be a doctor. And they're like, well, when I grow up, I will be a doctor. And, you know, and doctors are good things to have. But it's like they're, they're putting all their energy and effort into building something. And they're finding a lot of disappointment along the way. Because they're not allowing, they're not allowing themselves to flow with the universe. So if they can, if they can release this, there's going to be a new beginning. Feel the fear and do it anyways. Uh, again, like this pe person is very much in their fear uh, and very much in what they should do versus maybe what they know that they need to do. Like this person may not be as good at following their intuition. Excuse me. Dropping things as I always do. Yeah, this person is seeking... It's like this person is seeking abundance, but this person has a destined abundance. And I feel like what they're chasing isn't, isn't what they're meant to catch. So it's, it's pretty ironic uh, and probably not fun for you, but it's like, I feel like, I feel like most of you, you are on this person's path of abundance, but this person is not opening up to you partially because they're searching for abundance. It's like they, they're just like, they're fishing in the wrong stream. And they need to, they need to question some of their beliefs uh, and they need to let there be a, a brand new beginning. Um, because right now there's, uh, you know, a lot of unhappiness here. 
And, you know, maybe this person like feels like, you know, maybe this person feels like if they want to be successful, they have to be unhappy or something like that. But, but there's, you know, this situation is causing unhappiness. Like the best solution is to make, you know, new chapter and it's focus some of this energy but there's a lack of cooperation wish I feel like this person has a specific wish and it's not like this person, you know, it's not like this person can't have abundance. I feel like this person definitely can have abundance. Um, but what they think that they're doing to maintain their abundance is what's blocking their abundance. Like what they're doing to like close off their heart space and live in this fear oriented um, perspective where, you know, they, you know, they can't give. That's actually blocking them from receiving. So my uh, sister, Hermana, with my, I feel like this person is, you know, very, like, they just, they want to hold on to what's theirs. Uh, you know, maybe they've had things taken from them at some point in time, but they're so they're they're very convinced that if they let go of anything they're just going to lose and it's just like there's a need to let go because sometimes you need to let go from what things that aren't for you things that aren't you know like sometimes you may have a vision but that's not life's vision for you like they, that may not be your calling. <laughs> so I feel like there is a need to this person needs to see value differently. Um, maybe even just realizing that it's far more abundant than what they think it is. Um, Black Heart G. Somebody may have a G name. Obviously, it may not be for everybody. Um, sister, this could, this could be like a family member. Um, this could be, this could have to do with how somebody like, this could be to do with something about how they relate to somebody in their life. Um, and Wonder Woman. Is this person Wonder Woman? I, I just heard like embrace potential. I feel like this person, they're not completely wrong. They can have abundance. They're just going about it in the wrong way. Uh, and they, they need... Um, and like how they're doing things is not embracing their potential, which is unfortunate because it's, I feel like this person's trying really hard. They're putting a lot of effort in, um, but the focus is all over the place. Um, so it's not. Like this, this person doesn't have a lot, lack of work ethic, but this person is, even though, but they're ignoring the kind of work that they need to put in. Like they, the actual kind of work they want to put in, uh, that they have to put in is the stuff that they're avoiding doing, which is, well, just unfortunate um, because it's blocking them from their prosperity. And I feel like it's blocking your prosperity between the two of you um that being said thank you so much i really appreciate you if you do want a free reading i'm giving away two at six thousand subscribers so be subscribed and comment and you're in the running i just also want to say thank you to everybody's been liking sharing 
commenting, subscribing, it all matters. Uh, if you do want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. Just make sure that you only contact me on that. I do not have a WhatsApp. There is somebody who's trying to, uh, in the comments, pretending that they're me. Uh, and I suggest you don't contact them uh, because um, I don't want you to get scammed. Let's move on to pile number four. Pile number four, my gorgeous, intelligent, fabulous people. Why are they acting like this? Why are they acting like this? Knight of Swords. Lovers. Three of Swords. There is love and heartbreak here. And this person is very much in their air energy right now. Like this person, like there's a, this person, it's like, person got their heart broken um and this person is saying no to having that happen again uh and this person is very much working on a logical plane like they're they're very much pro and con this makes sense. This doesn't make sense. I don't really get that they're like for most of the people in here, I, I'm not getting like, I feel like they still feel like a significant amount of love. And I feel like they feel love for you, but um, it's like this person feels like this has been too painful. I just heard like stabbed in the heart like this, even though it's showing stabbed in the heart, but this person feels like they've been stabbed in the heart. Um, so this person is disengaging from their heart space. Uh, even though like they're not even denying that there's love. It's just like they're, they're, they're saying that something is not acceptable. Something like, I, I, this person is going to leave if you hurt them. And they're going to do that even if they love you. So, and some of you, you may say this feels like more like me rather than my person. Well, this for them. Uh, and then maybe you just needed to hear this message. So you represent wish fulfillment for this person. Like they, they definitely want you. And there is definitely love involved. Um, But there needs to be balance to move forward. Um, so if there's something that hasn't been balanced in this connection, um, that needs to be balanced for this to move forward. Why are they acting like this? This person, however, like... I won't, I won't say that there isn't a little bit of bitterness because there might be a little bit. This person is not, like, this person is not disengaged from their heart space so much as, because this person, but this person, like, very much, like, this is, I feel like this is very a cause and effect. Like, uh, because this person... 
And I feel like, because some of these other piles, they were like, you didn't do anything. And, you know, like maybe, again, you might feel like this is, but this person feels heartbroken specifically regarding this connection. Why are they acting like this? This person feels uh, significantly connected to you, but they feel like what they've received out of this is heartbreak. Um, um, they really want to move forward. And I feel like even though this person is, I, I feel like this person, this person isn't completely closed off to you. However, this person, uh, like if you're just going to offer them heartbreak, this person is going to say no to that offer. Um, but this person still feels like you are a incredibly significant spiritual connection. This person, um, this person's going to move forward. Uh, they don't know whether you're going to move forward with them. Um, and if you won't move forward with them, they're willing to accept that. Um, because they they don't think that they have the capacity to change you. This person feels very um, stoic, but they're like this person still. There's still love. They uh, want wish fulfillment here. There, you know, there's a significant spiritual connection, but this person will not redo the same karmic cycle with you. So it's like the things need to get better. That's, that's the energy that I'm getting from this person. It's like, this person will be fair to you, but like things have to get better. Uh, and this person, like, I feel like loves you no matter what, but if things don't get better, then this person is not going to take another round of getting heartbroken. Because right now they don't feel, right now they feel like this connection is toxic. Right now they feel like they feel like there's no hope that right now that this is just a negative attachment. And that is because it's very much because of their experience getting heartbroken. And it's not about another person's heartbreak. Like they feel like they got heartbroken specifically in this connection. The Hierophant. This person, you know, wants a traditional commitment. And like major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. This person feels a significant connection with you. And this person feels significant heartbreak with you. And this person, like, is absolutely determined to not put up with anything that's toxic. Again, this is just the air perspective. And again, some of you are going to say this is more me than my person. And that's okay. Why are they acting like this? King of Cups. You may not have told them how you felt. Like if you had feelings for them, you may not have told them that you have feelings for them. And that 
led to heartbreak. So, like, if you if you haven't told your person, if you have, if you told them, told them, told them, then then this maybe isn't your pile. Maybe you're the other person. Um, because I feel like this person, it, this isn't somebody that didn't try. I feel like, but this is somebody that's had enough of a really negative cycle. And this person feels, you know, because of this heartbreak, this person feels like you are more of an addiction. Like they're, they on their side, they feel like, well, while there is love here, like they feel like this attachment has been a very negative experience for them. Why are they acting like this? They, they would want nothing more than this to work out, but they also want their own happiness. And currently, as things stand, this connection doesn't make them happy. This connection makes them feel confined and trapped and heartbroken. Um, so if, if you found this person to be distanced, it's because this person is seeking out their own happiness because of heartbreak they received in this connection. And they do like, it's like they've kind of lost hope, but they, they want things to work out anyways. Like it's like they want things to work out, but they no longer believe that they will. That's what it is. The person in this connection, why they're acting like this, is because, you know, their heart is a torn up mess and they no longer think that things were going to work out. So even though there's love here, this person is just choosing to take logical steps forward um, because this person wants to be happy again. And right now, maybe, again, like, if you didn't share them your feelings, like, this person doesn't feel loved. King of Swords. Yeah, this is very frustrating because this person, like, feels like you're a perfect match for them. But that just... It's like they feel like you're a perfect match for them, but everything has been unhealthy and they've been heartbroken uh, and it doesn't seem like anything's getting better. So from their perspective, it doesn't seem like anything's getting better. Um, so this person is... This person is looking at moving forward. Um, this person may choose to engage in a different relationship. Um, and it's not because they're denying this connection. Like they feel very connected. Um, but from their perspective, the ship didn't show up. This person really feels like the energy and effort didn't pay off um, and they only got pain out of this. This is again from their perspective. Why are they acting like this? It's okay not to know where it's all taking you. Find the beauty in the journey. I feel like this person is kind of like, again, they're... This person kind of wants to release this connection. They, they did. They just like they're they're you know the love is still there, the wish is still there. Like they feel like you guys would have been really compatible, but it's just 
It's like this person is like, the ship didn't show up. It's like there was something really missed here. Um, it could have... It could have, there could have just been like too much time passed. Why are they acting like this? But for some of you, it is too much time has passed. Uh, and because too much time has passed, like they're trying to find their own happiness independent of you. Um, and seek their own future. And I think that they're seeking a future that's independent of you. Um, it's okay to ball out sometimes. Spend that money. Um, this person, like, they may very much start investing uh, monetarily in something else. Like, they might, but... Like, they're seeking prosperity and satisfaction, which they did not find within this connection. They found, you know, like, they felt that there were really, re really rough cycles that left them heartbroken and left them having to, you know, find their own happiness and make their own path because... Yeah. So I feel like if, if you, uh, you know, if the person who did not show their love and affection showed their love and affection, it, it would have some kind of effect in, in, but... Because I feel like the problem is, is like, there wasn't, you know, like, maybe you didn't show up when you needed to show up. Maybe they didn't show up when they, like, I feel like from their perspective, you didn't show up when it mattered. You didn't show up when things needed to happen. And that continues to be a source of heartbreak for them. I feel like no matter how much time has passed, this person's still very heartbroken around about it. So this person feels like you are a significant cosmic connection. Like this person feels like this person, it's like they feel like you're a soulmate. They may think that you're a twin. They, they, they don't deny your connection, um, but I just keep hearing you didn't come through. And again, like some of you, you'll, you'll feel like this is more you. For some of you, this will be for you, and this is kind of going to be like there There has to be some kind of choice made because if there's no choice made that this person is just going to move on. And this person is going to move on specifically because, you know, they need to create the future in front of them one way or another, like they're, they're going to choose their own happiness. And I feel like they think that they could be happy with you, but they, they, they categorically refuse to go through another unhealthy cycle. Sport five, six, three, two threes. Three might be very significant. Six, is about love. The lovers is the number six. Five is about change. The wolf. This person might be feeling a little bit aggressive. Um, 
But I feel like part of the reason why this person feels aggressive is because they really think that they need to handle 100% of this by themselves. Um, and not because they want to do 100% of this by themselves, but because they just don't feel like you're stepping up. Um, okay. Um, I just heard step up or I'm moving away. Um, so with the... I feel like this person wants to move the wheel of fortune in their favor. Like they want to have luck. They want to have good things happen. And they want that to happen with you. Like this person hasn't stopped wanting that to happen with you. It's just... They're, they, but they've like truly internalized that you may never, uh, you may never show up. Um, so this person is, you know, they're going to make their luck. They're going to make their luck. Um, they want things to work out with you. They feel like you have a significant connection. They feel like you're compatible. Um, but as far as they're concerned, you're just not showing up. That's, that's, and like every time, I feel like every day that you don't show up, it feels like they're getting stabbed in the heart again. That's, and it's, it's affecting them that deeply which is one of the reasons why, you know, they're willing to let this all go. It's like, I feel like any, any time, uh, you know, every day that you don't show up for them, it feels like another stab in the heart. So this person wants healing. This person, you know, is looking, you know, towards to, to create their own happiness. They want it with you, but they just, like, there's something, like, they don't trust you to show up. They don't trust you to show up. Um, so they want, you know, they want this healing. Um, but if you don't show up, they're going to create things for themselves. Um, and I feel like they're definitely, they've definitely opened up. If they weren't seeing other people before, they're going to. Um, sport. I don't know. You guys mo uh, might both be, you know, do a sport. Maybe this is something how you bonded in some way. You know, they're... But... Yeah, this person does have some, you know, like this person is very strong uh, and this person uh, does have some aggressive feelings for you, but it's, it's mostly because from their perspective, like you just didn't show up. That's, that's what they, that's what I keep hearing. Like you didn't show up. Where were you a year ago today? I feel like there's more to this, but it's like just that part. It's like, where are you? Reflect on your progress. You're more than likely to find you've done even more than you can give yourself credit for. I feel like, but I feel like just that first line was very significant. This person, you know, feel like this person doesn't know where you are. This person might not have even known where you were a year ago. So if there hasn't been contact, if you haven't been contacting this person, 
this person's ready to this person's ready to change the direction of their own fate. And even though you are a significant and even fated connection like this person, they will put the energy effort elsewhere um, because they're not going to wait forever to be happy. And you make them very sad. Overthinking creates a prison in your mind. Free yourself. So if you've been overthinking this correct connection, and again, some of you are going to say, this isn't me, this is them, and that's fine. You, you just you needed to hear it. Uh, but this person definitely isn't overthinking. This person feels like you've overthought things. I feel like this this person, like from... This person just feels, yeah, just a lot of pain. And it's almost to the point where that's the only thing they associate with you anymore is pain. And it may be because this has been a long time. And if you think time made things easier, time made things much harder. So I feel like this person, you know, believes you overthink things. Um, I just also heard all thought, no action. And you guys are both very cerebral people with, but I'm getting all thought, no action. That, that's from their perspective. Um, but heartbreak, heartbreak. You are a major significant source of heartbreak for this person. Um, with the Malachite, that's also about the heart space. I feel like, yeah, they're, you know, like they are very hurt. So this person wants a steady, stable connection. Like this person wants a connection um, that they can depend on, that they don't have to question, that they, you know, like this person wants a connection that's reliable and not fragile. Death. I feel like this person really truly believes that things are ended between the two of you because, and I feel like it's all to do with not showing up. And because of that, there's heartbreak. And because of that, um, this person is, you know, there is an end here for this person. Uh, I do feel like this person is really being authentic to who they are. I mean, this person is somebody who's naturally very tough. Um, this person is also like, they're not pretending to be anybody else. They're, but they want to be appreciated for who they are. They want to be seen for who they are. And I, and I feel like there is this absence. They still feel a connection with you, but if you haven't been somebody who's reliable, they're going to choose somebody that shows up for them. Um, with the with the dinosaur. In their head, you're holding on to things that, like, you're overthinking and, you know, a lot of, as far as they're concerned, like, you may just overthink until you both, you know, shuffle off this mortal coil and, uh, you know, reincarnate again. Um, 
but they also feel like some of your they, they might like they feel like there's some outdated beliefs but they're you know they're they don't care about convention they you know like you know like if so if you're doing something cuz it's conventional I, I mean maybe they want a conventional relationship but they're not actually particularly conventional people in fact they're very much individuals like they're they're individualistic they'll so i feel like they're they're not going to just hold on to just one way of doing things especially if it's not working and i feel like that's the thing from their perspective this isn't working so um the little black heart yeah it's just from you know from their perspective like this hurts this burns um yeah if you haven't contacted this person in a long time i feel like the time makes it worse like time isn't going to make this person forgive you time is going to make this person never come back son this person is is you know seeking happiness and peace uh, and they heavily associate you with pain and heartbreak. Cat. So I feel like this person is really trying to be very um, observant. It's like this person is being observant. This person is trying to be fair. Um, but this person, it's like there's... There's nothing that's going to stop this person from moving forward. And this person is perfectly fine if you want to come and move forward with them. But if you don't, they're still moving forward. Um, if you don't provide wish fulfillment, they're still going to have wish fulfillment. They're going to look at other opportunities. All right. I hope this helps. I, I know this one could come off as a little harsh if it is directed at you. Uh, again, this is this, uh, you know, why they're acting like this. Um, so I, I feel like this is one where, you know, really telling and showing that you care would make a significant difference. Um, but, or if it's, uh, if, if you feel like this is your person, then, you know, they need to tell you that they care or else you're going to move forward. Either way, but hope you got something out of this. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two at 6,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you're then running for that. Uh, if you do want to contact me, my email is in the description below the timestamps. Make sure that you use that contact information because there is somebody that's pretending to be me in the comments. Um, but if you use that email, that's the way to get in contact with me. And I will never, ever, ever give you a WhatsApp. So somebody gives you that, a phone number, it's not me. So thank you. I really appreciate you. And bye.